Perfecto. Perfect. Hello, everybody. Can you hear me, Camila? Good. Camila, ¿me escuchas? Just to make sure can everybody hear me okay out there. Well, um, I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna take that as a yes. So, uh, okay, thank you very much. Uh, all right, everybody, welcome to this uh, webinar from our friend from Pool Protection. My name is Jose Guillen. I am the um, uh, project manager in engineering for Cami America. So, any project need that you might have, um, the person to help you out, of course, through our friend from uh, Pool Protection. We work together in any. We will work together or any um, need that you might have. Uh, as you all know, uh, Cami has a lot of different products, but uh, we're going to start you know, looking to uh, our product line right now that is called uh, Cami BPT, which is our uh, video entry system line. Let's just talk about really quick about, you know, a little index we're going to have. We're going to just give you a brief introduction who we are. I'm pretty sure you already know us, but just, uh, just a reminder who we are and what we do. Uh, as you all know, we are Kame. Uh, Kame is located in Italy where we, you know, we started making... Uh, gate arms, gate operators, and so forth. And then, uh, you know, we have been growing on an on organic way. So we have a product line, which is called BPT, which is the one that we're going to see today. Uh, it's based in our um, creation of a video entry system and temperature, video entry, video intercom, temperature and control systems. We have uh, our product line for the uh, uh, bollards, which is Kami or Baco. We have, uh, we make anything from bollards for decoration as well as high security. Just to give you an idea for our bollards, we have our bollards uh, for high security. They can stop a uh, 7.5 tons uh, truck traveling at 80 kilometers per hour. That's for our, um, for high security bollard product line. We have our Kami Parcare, Parker, which is our parking product line factory located in Barcelona, Spain. Uh, we can, you know, we can help you with your needs from anything from a small parking lot all the way up to a big airport, to a big uh, mall, big shopping center, etc. Camigo is our product line uh, specialized on the design of industrial uh, door for residential and industrial settings. It's basically for garage doors and so forth. And then last but not least, then we have a Kami Osak. We just acquired this company based in Turkey. Uh, Kami Osak is, it was brought for, to, to, to strengthen our um, turnstile product line as well as bowlers and road blockers. So we also have a product line um, about this um, based on, on, on security for this, uh, from manufacturing for, for these uh, product lines. Anyway, moving forward. Then just a little bit about us. Cami America is located here in the uh, in Miami Lakes. We are about 25 minutes north of uh, of the airport, Miami Airport. Uh, from here, we basically take control of all the North American market, including Central America, with the exception of Mexico, where we have a full functioning business unit. Also, the Caribbean, as well as South America, with the exception of um, Brazil and Chile, where we have business units located so we're here to help you we're here to help you and uh, together with our friend from pool protection we can help you out on any on, on any project needs that you might have without further ado let's just start talking about our video entry system and as i mentioned as i mentioned before kame uh, is not only get operators and, and gate arms we also have other products which we're going to be presenting to you today we have our video entry system which has which are top of the line product system. We have anything from the analog to the, um, what I like to call the digital product line. And we're gonna be presenting it uh, right now. Before we go any further, I'd like, to, I'd like to, to start my presentation. Oh, I'd like to address one thing. Uh, if you have any questions, please let's save those for the, for the end of the presentation. Just click the note of, click in, take note of your questions. And then I'll be happy to answer those at the end of the, the presentations. All right. So in this moment, I just like to always mention how is a, a video entry system, what is the composition of a video, a video entry system? You basically are going to find three main components, which is your entry panel, which is a, the entry panel is going to be always located outside the building, in front of the building, in front of the house. It's basically going to be the interface that the visitor is going to come up to, press the button, and they're going to make the call. Then you have some, you need some sort of devices to make that call possible. Then you have what's called power supplies and control units. Basically the signal, when you press that button on the entry panel, the signal will go to the power supply and, and, and other devices, what we call the control units, 
And from this power supply, that call is going to be addressed to the receiver, which is a unit that is located inside the apartment. So once again, we have the entry panel, which is a part that is located in front of the building. Then from there it goes to, uh, we have other components, which is the power supplies and other control devices. And then last but not least, we have the receiver, which is a unit that's going to receive the call that is being made from the front of the building. All right. So I mentioned before, we have uh, very briefly, we have uh, three product lines, which I like to call the the analog, which is number one, which is the two wire uh, based on the bus protocol product line. And then we have the XIP or the internet protocol, which is our it's a hybrid between analog and digital. This we use this product line to uh, to go on projects that go over uh, 100 uh, uh, apartments or 100 units. And then we have our full IP or uh, in a protocol IP 360 video entry system family. Let's start right now with uh, our X1 or two wire bus uh, product line. Which is very briefly, we're gonna mention some of the features that we have on, on, on this product line, which is gonna be basically, it's gonna repeat itself on the XIP. But let's mention that right now, the basic ones over here. Uh, the X1 uh, system, what do we have? We have secrecy of a speech. So in other, in other words, if somebody calls you from the front panel, nobody else is gonna listen to the conversation, but you so let's say for example you're located in apartment 201 and somebody's calling from the front of the building that conversation the moment that you pick up the phone or the or the, or the intercom nobody else is going to hear your your call doorbell functions in other words uh you can have your your receiver the unit that is inside the apartment can only it will ring not only when the the entry panel is somebody's calling you from the entry panel but also if you have a doorbell in front of your apartment you can actually connect that to your to your uh, receiver, and you will have two different ringtones, and you know you can have the you know you can have both functions: the, the call from the from the entry panel, and also the call from the from the doorbell. Call from landing stairs. In other words, we can have a, a second entry panel dedicated to a service entrance. Let's say, for just to give an example, we have the main entrance of the building, right? When everybody's coming to visit you, they press the button and they will call you apartment, but also but you can have a service entrance. You can have a second um, entry panel with perhaps only one button. And when you press that button, that will call the concierge, for example, the, the concierge, the front desk. And the person from the front desk can allow, will allow that person to access the premises. That could be, for example, the, the mailman, the UPS, or DHL services, something like that. So delivery testing, delivery uh, companies that can use the service, uh, the service entrance. You can actually, the other function, you can actually unlock the front door from your receiver, but also you can unlock the front door, the, the, access, the, the access door to the building from the front panel itself. You can, we can actually install a keypad on one of your receivers. And then if you have the right code, if that's the program from, from the beginning, you can actually have a, you can, you can unlock the, the door, the, the, the entry door from the, from the entry panel itself. For this system, for the analog system, we can actually, with the right interface, we can add um, up to at least eight uh, CCTV cameras. They, this has to be analog, but we can still add um, CCTV cameras. It could be uh, a multi-user intercom facility or a single uh, user intercom facility. In other words, if you really like your neighbor from the apartment 201, 203, and 204, you can actually have the program made in order to allow calls between the different apartments or the different houses. Or perhaps you have uh, more than one receiver inside your apartment. Let's say, for example, you're in your room and somebody's on the, on the kitchen, per se. You can actually make a call to that inner community that is located in the kitchen from the, 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 the confidence on your, of your room. And then last but not least, we can actually set up auxiliary buttons. What do I mean with this? Uh, auxiliary buttons are basically that will activate different relays. Let's say, for example, if somebody calls you and then perhaps uh, the, the, the light on your on the hallway to access your apartment is too dark, you can actually turn on the light by pressing the auxiliary button. We can set up uh, just dry contact to be able to, to send a, you know, to enable the, the light just per se, right? So that's one of the, the uses that we can have for these all these auxiliary buttons. But perhaps it could be a, a, an open a second door. So that's something that we could also do with these auxiliary buttons if if you need to do so. 
Okay, uh, towards composition. Right now, we're gonna show you basically a single home application. Here we have the Litos entry panel with, you know, this is the entry panel. We have our power supply. And then from here, you have uh, two different uh, receivers. In this case, we're looking at two video uh, uh, intercom systems. And we will we have this device over here. The reason being is because since we, we are looking at two different signals, audio and video, so we need an extra device to split this to, 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 yeah, to split to split the signal to send it to device number one or device number two. So this device is a two-word number Um it works on the protocol on the bus protocol. You can call up to one hundred calls, one 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 hundred eight units. We can have up to three entry panels, three different entry panels. We can have up to uh, eight CCTV cameras. Uh, it's a really it has a really uh, basic access control. So we can integrate with other access control systems as well. Self learning that we can. Uh, uh, and create your your intercom system right here on the right we're showing you basically a rights application or a building application but we can have up to two apartments with uh, several buttons these uh, buttons we use it as an expansion unit to to be able to press to have more more apartments that we can call to we have for here uh, the meter this meter unit is basically our concierge station or porter or front desk however you want to call it in other words if somebody calls here this guy on the on the on the reception can actually uh, intercept the call to the apartments. You can actually come from the electric panel to the to the reception, and the reception can call to can call to the apartment where you wish to go or you wish to call. Uh, or worst case scenario, they can actually redirect the call to any of the apartments where you see each one of these um, receivers. Okay, uh, that's on the on the riser application. Right now, we're going to be looking at the different components that we have in this um, product family. So we have the Tangram uh, entry unit. We have the Litos. This unit can be expanded to up to uh, 108 calls. So we can add expansion modules and we can have 100, 100 buttons plus eight buttons here. That will make the total of 108. This unit here, the Litos, is a basic um, entry, uh, entry panel. And this can go up to uh, four different buttons, which can relate into four different apartments, four different units. And then we have these units over here, the DMVC or the DMC, which are entry panels that you can actually add a custom made from panel in order to, if the project requires that, you can actually uh, install a custom made uh, from play to this entry entry panel. We also have, as I mentioned before, for the porter option, we have the Mito unit, which is basically, uh, it looks like a, like a phone on a desk with a, with a support. And from here, you can actually, as I mentioned before, uh, intercept the calls that are coming from your from your entry panel, and then redirect the calls to the apartment that they're calling to, or they can actually call you and and call the apartment. So this is basically the unit that we have for the for the uh, front desk function. And in regards of the receivers, we have here different models. We have the Perla or Pale, Nova, Linea. So different these are different uh, options that we have as you know the units that will go inside the apartment, all right? So moving forward, and then we're gonna look into our XIP internet protocol product line. Let's look at some of the features of this uh, product line. I'm on the features, I'm, you know, sharing the same features that we have on the, on, the, on the last product line that I show you. We also have an access control function. We can still add the CCTV function to this product line. We can still add the Porter switch function. However, there's gonna be, slightly different we're gonna, we're gonna be using a pc on this one because uh see with this product line we can go over 100 um units so we're gonna need something more robust i'll show you briefly how it looks like we can actually do a remote programming uh, of course we're gonna have a bidirectional communication potter software now in this case the, the potter function or the or the or the front desk function won't be a mytho unit it's gonna be a computer actually this uh you get a you get a piece of software. You install that on your computer, and the computer will be your your uh, front desk uh, unit. Uh, used to call it that way. We can expand the system as big as we want we wanted it to be. We can complicate the system as much as we want to. We can actually do 
calls writing, we can divert calls, and we can actually make a conditional call forward to a different, uh, an internal uh, receiver, or perhaps uh, phones to the outside, I mean, a landline or a cell phone if, if you wish to do so, or if the project calls it, if it's a neighborhood project. Okay, looking at the uh, application for the SXP system, so we see over here, it's a combination between the bus and LAN connection. Uh, what do we need to do? If we go over 100 um, apartments, so we need somebody, we, we need the, the information for the home is, more, is normally recorded on the power supplies. These power supplies, they can save up to, uh, say, 200 codes. Now, if we go, let's say, for example, if we have an apartment, like, for example, in this country, we're going to have more than, I don't know, 400, 600 apartments. We need this. Power supplies talk to each other and be able to exchange information. Apartment 101, or it's apartment 102. So we have something called a gateway, which is this device that is right here. And it connects to the power supply via like a flat cable. But then these gateways, they talk to each other with, uh, uh, with protocols. It, uh, TCP, I'm sorry, TCP protocol, they talk to each other and we can use. Uh, so for this, we use a, a CAT5 cable, for example. So in this case, we have here a server. A little server that manages or handles the the concierge or the or the front desk functions. Right here, you will have your your person in the in the from uh, in the front of the building. You have your entry panel, so you can actually call either directly to the, the 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 concierge station or you can call directly to the apartment. And then at the end of the day, you can actually talk. These guys can talk to each other, and the connection between them is done via a Cat five or Cat six cable, or it's used as a, as a a UTP CAT5 cable, and then from the power supply to the apartment, we use the pair of cables that will go connect that will go from the power supply to each of the units. So that's why it's a mix between um, call and the IP protocol. Another example they're gonna show. right now we have a large a larger installation, but we're gonna have a main entry point which is right right. But we're gonna have a a concierge station or a or a um, or a front desk. From this front desk, you can actually call to either this apartment or this, yeah, this building, this building, each one of these buildings, and all these buildings are connected. So we can we can make that possible. So if they are all connected, you can call each one of these buildings from this entry point, and then one of each, well, you know, each up each building will have its gated entry panel. In this case, it's a digital, and we can, here we have our power supply. We have our gateway that makes possible the connection from the power supply. To the to be able to talk to the rest of the uh, of the system to the yeah to the the logic behind it, so we can actually have a remote connection uh, by PC. We can add smartphones and tablets as well, so you can actually you know by purchasing the right license, uh, downloading the app on your tablet or your or your smartphone, and with the right license you can actually have your cell phone used as a uh, as a receiver ex uh, as well. You can have a advanced access control integration, and you can actually have the possibility to use existing LAN, uh, existing LAN networks in the installation of these systems, right? Um, in regards of the different um, devices that we can have on, as entry panel receivers and other components, we're adding a new player to this uh, to this um, product or to this family, which is the digital, which is our bandle proof. Panel resistance is already already comes with a keypad, uh, a screen that you can actually navigate up and down, find the right apartment, and press enter. And you can have a, a press enter to call that apartment that you wish to visit, right? So you can actually have a dedicated button to call the porter or concierge station, which I show right here on the right. Um, and if needed, it comes with a uh, proximity reader. Well, yeah, it comes with a proximity reader. So if you want to use it, it's be our guest, and you can take advantage of the access control function. We're still using our Tangram, still available for this product family. And then we have these two guys over here, which is a DMVC or in the DMC, the uh, entry panel to which you can add a, uh, you can add custom made um, from plate. Remember before we had the middle unit, in this case for the porter or for the, or for the concierge station, we have a license. So we need to, we buy a device, which is, I showed in the, uh, it was showed on the, in the 
in the image before is a little device called it's ETI XIP server. So it's a little, uh, it's an industrial computer that manages the, that we manage the Potter, the Potter function. So it, it's a very powerful tool. So that little device, the ETI XIP server, it includes one license for the, for the concierge station or the for, from the station. If, let's say, for example, you have a project that requires more than one concierge station, you can actually, you buy just one of those servers and then we add the amount of licenses, licenses that you need. Also for the receivers, we're gonna have the same uh, receivers that I mentioned before, which is Nova, Linea, Ophira, Mito, Perl, Opale, but also we have something called the soft receivers. What is it called receiver? We can actually add the XIP mobile app, which is the license that will enable your cell phone to work as a receiver unit. Uh, basically, what you do, you will download uh, the app from the App Store or the Google Store or whatever, and then with the, with the license, the license uh, gets enabled into our system, and the license gets added to your cell phone, so you can now uh, have your cell phone or your tablet as a receiver. Also, um, we have soft receiver, which is you can have your your personal PC also as a uh, um, as an as a receiver as well. And then the PCS porter, the licenses for the porter, and the GST, these are licenses for to integrate with third party devices or seed funds or, and, or other uh, devices that you wish to use on this as a, as a receiver. And then uh, we're gonna talk about briefly about our IP360. As I mentioned before, it's a full IP product line. Um, here our units are, our units are basically they have a they include an app uh, app connection so you can actually every entry panel for our IP IP line they include four licenses so you buy one of the app entry panels you can actually you have the it includes four licenses which you can install on your cell phones or your app and then you can have you know four four devices enabled it has a cloud connectivity basically it's based in our Kami cloud technology or Kami connect technology which allows allow us to control uh, pretty much any Kami device that is enabled for this type of technology. Our entry panels and our receiving panels, they are powered, they can be either powered either via PoE or a local power supply. I believe it will start about, we're starting uh, the 18, 18 volts. So we can either, either use the power from the PoE switch or perhaps we can get a, a we can locally power our devices. As I mentioned before, we can make call to mobile devices. And as you can see over here, or the connection here is basically a CAT5 or CAT6 cable. It goes from the entry panel, goes to the PoE switch, and then from the PoE switch, it goes to each one of these receivers that we have right here, which is a Futura IP. I will show you in a brief. And then with the right configuration, we just provide internet to, to one of the uh, entry panels, which will be working as a server. And then from here, it will connect to our Kami Connect cloud service. And then from the Kami Connect cloud service, it will direct the call to your cell phone. It's not gonna be actually a phone call, it's gonna be a call uh, via data. So that's why you need to install the, the app. And the good thing about it is whatever you are in the world, for as long as you have data, you can actually, somebody calls you, you can actually enter the call and you can actually open the door from your cell phone, from the same app as well. Right here, I'm showing you a building application. I'm showing you here, so we have Unlimited distances, yeah, of course, because we're working with the IP system, so we can we can we can work with wireless, we can work with uh, uh, fiber optics and so forth. So imagination is a limit, right? When it comes down to how to connect all these devices in regards of distance, so we have unlimited users. I had a message. I mean, I had a conversation with Factory, and they told me they have installed. Uh, 2,500 licenses on one of these uh, entry panels and the system worked fine. So they figure, well, you know, we're not gonna keep on installing licenses. So if you think 2,500 licenses on one of these devices is good, so let's, I guess it's a, it's, it's a fair test, right? Um, we have an advanced access control system. We have a concierge station, which is right here, the concierge station. We're gonna keep on using the same device, the ETI SIR XIP. This device for the concierge station is valid for the for the SIP and IP product line, we have here a porter which can actually can call to each one of the apartments located right here. Then we have in this system, we have a cam IP camera. We can actually integrate an IP camera to our system. So we can see from our entry panel what's going on in that certain area from the confidence of our apartment and our entry device. 
we can actually have here, we have two uh, entry panels, so full IP entry panels. So we have a zip gateway that we can actually, that you can actually transfer the call to a phone line, to a, to a, to a landline or a cell phone, actually a, a phone call. You can have a soft receiver, as I mentioned before, we have the soft receiver could be, could be your computer. As long as you purchase the right license, you can have your computer as a soft receiver unit. We are integrated with the brand Creston. So if you have a project that requires to install Creston devices for the home automation, we can actually use the GST licenses as well to integrate this product line or this brand into our, our solution. Also, we can mention here the zip phone. You can actually in, uh, integrate a zip phone in our solution as well, as long as you have the right licenses. So right here, we have two different apartments, but one of the apartments, they also, you know, we can have two ways to manage the licenses for the mobile devices. We can have a centralized, which is right here with the, where the ETI XIP serve. We can manage the licenses for the whole building from here. But if we have uh, Mr. Apartment, I don't know, let's call it 101, who has, you know, several people or perhaps an office and he wants to manage his own licenses, we have a device that you can actually locally manage your your license for your cell phone so this guy over here this device over here this eti mini sir when you purchase that device it already includes six licenses for cell phones so you can have and you can add more licenses so this guy over here can have six or more licenses for different you know tablets cell phones and so forth as well as a physical unit shown right here and let's call in this apartment we have an eti domo xip which is you can we can uh, integrate our video entry system with uh, the Modica solution for uh, with the Kami products. So we can have a mix and match over here. Let's keep on going. So right here, let's talk about really quick the entry panels that we have. So in the entry panels, I'm gonna introduce you to a new family, but I'm gonna talk about it uh, in the following slides. Right now, I'm gonna show you, we have the TAN IP unit. As we can see over here, we can have a couple of buttons here or we can have a, a keypad as well. This keypad, we can memorize up to 1,200 codes. So you can have 1,200 apartments. You can call to 1,200 different apartments from this unit and using the keypad, of course. We have our, our new members of the family, the MTM product line. We have the MTM VR, which is the banded resistant right here, the, black, uh, the device on black. So right here, we see the camera. We have the uh, different buttons to call different apartments and the MIFR uh, reader. And this is a three uh, three modules model, and then right here we have the four modules model where we have the camera with a dedicated button to call the concierge station. We have a screen like with a like the one with the digital. We have a screen we can actually navigate up and down, and uh, an enter button so to call that apartment that we want to call. We can also have, we also have a keypad right here where we can you know if we know the apartment code we just press the code, or if you want to call to open the gate you can do that as well and also the reader. So this is in, in entry panels. In regards to the receiver, so we have the Futura X1, we have the Perla. If you have a, a project that is calling for audio only, but it has to be, we also have a uh, receiver that is full IP and audio only, which is the Perla. And then the XTS, which is another new member of the family, it's an uh, indoor receiver. Full touchless that you can actually, we have two models. We have the seven inch and the five inch uh, receiver. Then we have the GST receiver, which is the licenses to integrate uh, generic zip terminals or as well as also as your uh, third party devices. Physical receiver, I just mentioned those. We have the XIP mobile app, which is the app that I mentioned to you that you can, you can have your cell phone and you can use your cell phone as, a, as an entry device, and as, an, uh, as, a, as a receiver, I'm sorry. And then, uh, the soft receiver also to use your computer as a uh, as the receiver and last but not least the XIP porter or the porter function the concierge functions function that we have available in this product family. Moving a little bit, as I mentioned to you, we have the the XIP mobile app, which is you know you can have only one device. This is an analog way. Now we have with a full IP product line. If you buy one of only the the, the entry panel, the Tangram only. It includes already four licenses. So basically, what you have to do, you connect to your, you connect this device to your PoE switch, uh, and then the PoE switch you connect that to your router, and then from the from your internet provider, and then from there, you can actually add in the right settings. You, you know, you can add your force, you can add your false cell phones as your um, entry device. 
basically when you press that button that you know that call gets directed to a cloud service that cloud service will find you wherever you are as long as you have data and from there you'll be able to answer the call and allow the person inside your premises if you wish to do so now in regards of the different gst generic uh zip terminals we have the gateway which is the device that allows us to send you know to transfer call to the outside world soft receiver the computer uh, another gateway as well we can integrate with vo uh, voice or api system as long as we have the right licenses and the right combination right uh, we can also work together with uh, uh, Crestron um, control terminals, as I mentioned before. The MTM family. The MTM family. Our MTM family is our new uh, res uh, entry panels that we just released last year. And basically, these are modular and they work with all our product family. Right now, I'm showing you uh, right here the first one is the the model with one module is basically it's an audio is an audio device we don't see the the opening right here which is basically an audio device with one dedicated button it's basically this is called this one house and you know you can have more than one audio receiver if if you wish to have more than one then we have the mod the model of two modules we have here the camera and then we have eight buttons this button will means that it's going to call every every button means a different apartment different unit so you press this button you will you'll be calling mr i don't know apartment 101 102 and so forth and this would be an, a video um video call same here we have the model with three modules where we have our video camera we have our button sections and then we have our my fair reader if you wish to use our our access control feature and then last but not least we have the model with four modules we have a screen that shows the apartment name or the apartment complex name we have the camera with a dedicated button to call the porter if you know if needed then we have the screen right here the screen with the buttons uh, down and up and the enter button which allows you to you know you navigate with these two buttons you find the person that you wish to visit press this middle button right here and that will place a call to that apartment specifically and then the keypad basically to call if you know the combination you call the apartment directly or perhaps to open the the front door from the from the you know if you know the password to do that this product line is compatible with all of our the product line that we speak over here so basically of the, the, the families per se so we can have the mtm family can work we have module for the x1 the xip the IP360 and a product line that I didn't mention, which is the uh, product family, which is a GSM. It's basically the GSM is basically the family you can in, you can install a, uh, a SIM card on one of these uh, MPM entry panels, and that will actually place a, a, a phone call to your either landline or your cell phone. The things that we don't show that one here because it's it's been designed for for G for the band. For, it works only on G2. It doesn't work on any other. Um, bandwidth uh, or yeah, any other bands but uh we are working on getting uh something newer that will work with uh you know g4 and so forth so we're gonna have hopefully that next year we'll be able to offer this this option as well just to give you an example uh let's say for example you have somebody who wishes to install a uh, full ip video entry system in their house so you can by just purchasing the ntm just the the one module model you can have basically you know you can choose this you can have the full the, the video camera right here you can actually have either one or two buttons in this case we're going to have one button because you're calling one apartment you connect this guy with a cat file to your router from the router you can actually connect if you wish to have a physical unit you can have the futura ip unit or you can have the xts whichever device you wish to use and then remember we have four licenses over here that this device already includes four licenses that can be used on you know cell phone or tablet so from here you can actually have one tablet one cell phone or two cell phone if you wish to do so and you can actually the way it works when i press this button before it was working where it will go first to your physical unit then after your physical unit will go if you didn't answer here will go to your uh, uh to smartphone but now the way it's being designed is there were some changes made and then now if you press this button it's going to ring in all the devices at the same time right so you can it will claim you know whoever answer first that's where the call is going to stay and again you can this device comes with four licenses 
If you wish to have problem four, you can always purchase extra licenses and add it to the system. Uh, serverless residential building. So how we call it serverless? Because uh, either one of these entry panel is going to act as the manager of the call. So it's going to be like the server. It's going to be the server of all the licenses. Let's say, for example, right here we have this building. We have different apartments. So we have two entry points. We have the front entry point, and I don't know, let's call this back entry point. It's a full IP system when you know we have eight apartments. So basically, whatever button you press is going to be calling this apartment. It's going to call Mr. Apartment 1. Well, he has a, a Futura IP. Well, look at this. He has a uh, ETI mini serve. He can actually, the person from Apartment 1, he can have, he will manage his own licenses. So he can have more than one, two, more than, more than six. Actually, up to uh, as a standard, we have six licenses, or he can add more if you he, if he wishes to do so. If he needs more licenses on his apartment on his apartment number one, but now on apartment number two, this guy he just want to go, you know, stay with what we have, and then he has a physical unit, a unit plus the uh, the tablet. He has a he can he have a uh, not only the physical but also the um, the, the the wireless device let's call it that way and uh, and so forth we can have apartment one two three four five and so forth right so this is basically an example that we can have a serverless solution on a residential building right here we don't have a concierge station if we want to add a concierge station then we have to add a server because remember that's little server we manage the um we manage that uh, the license for the for the concierge station and then we have an urban solution. We're gonna have show you uh we've shown you here an example where we have that we're gonna be using the XIP product line. And then this is gonna be we have a, a main entrance right here where we have our NTN one, two, three, four module NTN XIP device over here connected to a gateway, which this this gateway connects uh, through this XIP. Uh, you can make a call to this building number one from here or you can actually call let me show you really in the next slide from that entry panel that we have before you can actually call the the concierge or the or the front desk over here the front desk guy will answer the call either allow you to the premises or well, allow you to the premises or call a uh, call the apartment or apartment number two number three or apartment number one shown here so if, let's say for example you from here you call uh the person in this apartment this person open the doors from his apartment, will open the front door. Then this guy, the visitor, walk to his building, presses the button, and you, from the confidence of your apartment, you can actually press the, you know, press a, there's a key button on each um, and, uh, receiver that will release the front door, and then your visitor will access the premises from here. And then same case, same case from here. Let's say, for example, the, the visitor found the door open, or he called the concierge station, the concierge station allows you into the premises. And then you're telling the, the person here in the, in the porter on the front desk, hey, I need to visit apartment number two on, on compound number three. See, actually, this person can come from here to apartment number three, talk to the person who lives over there. You know, you have Mr. Peter visiting. Oh, yeah, let him in. So he can actually walk over here to building number three. He will press the button here on our Tangran XIP unit. Mr. Apartment two will enter the call and allow you into the premises. So we can have... So basically showing you how more or less how the system will work on a uh, on a configuration where we have a main door with the presence of a uh, concierge station or a, of a uh, front desk and then multiple buildings that's basically and based on the xip family just one more thing that i'd like to show over here wiring exactly so we can see the different the different gateways here the eti, ETI xip eti xip these are gateways and they're connected between each other with, a, uh, with either CAT5 or CAT6 device. So we have a, a multi wire system to connect from the entry panel to the XIP. It basically converts from the bus protocol to the, to the IP. So in that way, we can these different gateways can talk to each other. And then also the, the, the ETI SIR, which is the device that manages the license for the, for the concierge station, they can, also, they can all talk to each other via IP or via TCP protocol, TCP IP. And then right here, you have your power supplies. And then from the power supply on is the, the pair of wire for the X1 protocol. That's why we call it a mix. So right here in this section, in the bottom section, we have what is the, the CAT5 or CAT6. Then we have the, the, flat, the flat wire that connects um, the power supply to the gateways. And then from here on, we have the, the X1 technology 
to connect the different uh, receivers into the main system. And then just a few references that we have around here in the state. So we have a few projects in New York. There's a lot of buildings over in New York. That's where we have most of our installations. But uh, again, uh, we are here to help you if you have any uh, project that you need help and you know you wish to try implementing our solution, you can always work with a friend from Pool Protection and a friend from Pool Protection will contact us and work with you on getting you, you know, up to the specs and helping you out to build a solution so then we can provide you with a proposal and so forth. So we remember we're working together with our friends from, from Fruit Protection to provide this solution to you guys. So now we are open to uh, any questions that you might have. 